Should, um, should, should I be rowdy? Do you think you're gonna get very many rowdy people? No, we won't get many rowdy people. Should I be the rowdy one? Be the rowdy okay. One. Okay, ready? I'm yeah. sure you are. Oh, okay. Brandon from Blake and Caitlin, congratulations and a proper Texas congratulations. Was this their place? Yeah. Why would they host a party at the same time you were One step backwards. Perfect. <laughs> What's the problem? Actually, you know what? I'm Wait, gonna do this. Can, I, can I do this? Yeah. Is that too tight? I don't know what he's doing. It's okay. I think, I think he's, he's right in. Who <laughs> <laughs> <Blue> steal? <laughs> um, dear Brad and Jen. Dear Brad and Jen. We are elated. So elated. Yeah. You can't just repeat everything I say. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brad, I know you hella time, and. Uh, I can't do this seriously. <laughs> I hope you should have gotten had more drinks first. <laughs> Say something. Good lovies. Dear Brad and Jen, you looked very sharp on the podium uh, of the wedding reception area. <laughs> and I hope... No. Oh, I Brad, to... Brad, what do you want me to say to you in 25 years when you watch this? <laughs> <laughs> hey Brad, I'm, gonna, I'm so gonna go ahead and say that now. maybe you should tell him. Probably <laughs> did know. I don't know who already did that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Keep keep the party alive. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey. Oh, I gotta go find water. Okay. Find water. All right. Brad and Jen, keep the party alive. Keep and the party if you're up. not, then we'll help you to keep it alive. It's rolling, so whenever you're ready. This is the video? This was the dumbest idea ever, Brad. I hope you watch this later and think, what was I doing on September 20th? <clears throat> what day is it? 20th, yeah. Never forget, September 20th. 9, 2019. Between the 19th and 21st. Alright, gentlemen, they're going to watch this thing in 20 years. Okay. When they're do you guys have kids now? Yeah. Kids are old. Yeah. Yeah. How much easier are kids that have dogs? They're getting ready to go to college. They're getting ready to be empty uh, nesters. College? They're like, you know Community what? Community college. Your mom goes to college. Do we yes. stay married or do we like, you know, figure something else out? Next chapter. Well, you can call us Why for counseling live. Why should they stay married? Probably it's way cheaper than getting a divorce. <laughs> Economically, it makes sense. I mean, financially, for tax reasons, it's way better to stay married. So, you, know, you just stay married at this point. Tax accounting for I, many years yeah. now. Thank you, I know, I'm married. Uh, Why do you think I got married? Why do you think I stayed married? I want to know why Brad and Jen were cool 20 years ago, back when they were both still hot. Hey Brad, remember it's when you did stuff? There was like, yeah, we do. Yeah, now you're just I don't old. I don't you, got, you got kids. I don't you never go out with us anymore. You never have sex with us anymore. I haven't heard never... a dick joke in weeks from you. Yeah, it's just not the same, man. It's just not the same. Your hair is still greasy, I'm sure. Jen, yeah, for sure. I'm we don't have a DD happen. anymore. Yeah, what are we supposed to do with our lives? Julian's an alcoholic. Yeah. I'm just drinking. drives us now. too. Yeah. I live on the street. I'm a bum. Josh, he is in stable Germany. Stable community, Alex said. Yeah. Make stable community. That's yeah. true. You, we, need, we need a house to live in in 20 years. A home. I thought you got a home. A you guys need to make a home for us. Is that too late? Can we still do that? Just keep our pants on? Or you guys are yeah. rambling. Right on. Okay, too much? Now you can't. Now they can't actually watch this for 20 years, right? It's a time capsule. Okay. Yeah, next week. Time capsule. Can Tell you... Brad and Jen while you're still sober, why you're honored to be in their wedding. Cause we you fucking sober? rock. <laughs> I'm toasting you later. I'm not recording the toast too. Yeah. yeah. You're toasting. You get one. You get one. Yeah. Get one. 
He doesn't want to burn all through through all his masters yeah. at once. Alex already chewed through like most of my material in the Yeah, seriously. Right. <coughs> okay. Next. Hello, future Brad and Jen. This might be tomorrow that you see this. This might be the year 2050. And you're old. And you're old and, and you're really? driving a flying car or flying a driving car. You see this? This is a relic. iPhone 6. iPhone 6. <laughs> They're now on 42. What do you think about that? Yeah. Um, we're here from the past. We just want to say, um, we'll probably say a few things, but we love you. We do love you. Um, and your children. We miss you because now you live on Mars. Um, <laughs> it's supposed so, to, they're supposed to have worked out some sort of air conditioning system. Yeah, so much, really so much for that stable community shit. You guys moved to Mars. Yep. Um, You're aliens now. But that's cool. We, res we respect your uh, ability to Don't YOLO. Worry. Don't worry, a few of us are holding down the fort. Yep. There's only a handful of Americans left on the planet. Yeah, all other, most, of, most of us are based in uh, Uganda now. Yeah, all other in the races future. have died. And it's, <laughs> it's, the only, it's the only place cool enough, Uganda. Uh, <laughs> there was a, a shift. A switch. Yeah. a switch of some sort. Yeah, that, now, that global warming thing just... Antarctica is up. covered in sand, and Uganda is ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Um, but it's good. We're happy. Anyways, we, we, we feed all, ourselves. All jokes aside, we're uh, very pleased and honored to be here uh, at your wedding. and. Um, Truth. We love you both we very much. Um, probably Jen a little bit more because we're awesome hot booty. Yeah. Um, Brad, you got good hair, but you know that's, that's like, obviously falling out. Let's be obvious. Let's be honest here. Uh, Lucas's hair is better. So. Sorry. <laughs> but we'll probably have fallen out by the time you see this. Playing, playing uh, second fiddle at your own wedding. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You one up us on the marriage department, and we're really proud of you. Yeah. You, um, you got us. But we're happy for you two, and we hope that we're still around in 20 years when you're watching this thing. We will and, be uh, we will be leathery, old, washed up masters bike racers. I hope at that point. And you will we will be looking up to everything that you do and all the millions of children you have. Yeah, I, I hope at that point we can be um, bad influences on your children. Yeah, they can call me call me Uncle Alex, and you guys will say that regrettingly. They're gonna like, call me no no <laughs> pants <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> Uncle Alex and No Pants Lucas are gonna leave now, children. <laughs> they're, they're drunk again. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Do a twirl for them. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> that was a hamster. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. <laughs> are you recording this right uh, now? I am right now, yeah. Okay. Hi. Um, Jen, uh, thank you so much for letting me come to your. Wedding, um, I can't believe what an amazing woman you've turned into. Um, I love your husband, he's a total blast. We had the gayest bachelor party I think I've ever been to in my life. Uh, and I mean gay. And, uh, and I still have bruises. Um, so I feel like that's, that's exciting. That was a milestone for me. And I'm gonna cherish my pink stag shirt for the rest of my life. Um, so yeah, you've made a great template for my wedding. Uh, if that ever happens, and um, yeah, I love you very much. Okay. <laughs> um, Brad and Jennifer, it's your it's your wedding day. Um, you probably can't see this, but I have two acrobats just to the left of me, which is pretty amazing. I'll be at uh, distracting at the same time. Anyway, um, congratulations, you guys rock so much. Um, I love being a part of your world, and thanks so much with accepting me and dating your best friend. Um, that you've known for all your life, and yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just happy to be a part of your world. Um, Brad, the first time I met you, you were, I just met Alana, and you were walking outside of her house the next morning, and you're like, oh, don't worry, it's not like that. I'm, uh, I was just sleeping on the couch, and I was like, okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> anyway, um, I love you both. Uh, I wish nothing but the best for you, and I can't wait to uh, keep spending time together for years and years to come. Take care. Perfect. Yep. Whenever I'm rolling, whenever you're ready. Okay, so Jen and Brad, I'm so happy for you two. You guys are just the best, and I think you're going to have the happiest relationship. I just love seeing you two together. And, you know, Brad, you probably know that I knew Jennifer before she was born. So I've known her for a really long time, and so I had to keep my eye on you to make sure you were the right person for her. And I'm really pleased to say that you are like 
right in the pocket. But I have to tell you, and I'm sure you know this by now, that Jennifer, you know, she rules the roost. And I think that you're really going to be in, in for a high, great time. But here's the thing that I love about you, Brad, is that you're a dancer. And I know Jen's been a dancer since the get-go. Uh, but here's something you got to do every Easter, because we've had Easter egg hunts for a bazillion years. So I certainly hope that you've got a lot of hiding places that you know about to put these eggs. And the ones that she would always go after were the ones with the money in it. So make sure that you put an egg somewhere with like a big check or a big wad of money in it. Or better yet, put something in there that will least, you know, like totally shock her. But I'm sure you know this. Anyway, we're having a great time at your wedding. And I'm just so happy for both of you and I love you. <laughs> Bam. Are we rolling or what? Oh, we're rolling. Okay. Brad and Jen, thank you for inviting me into your wedding. I uh, very much appreciate the hospitality the Bingham family has showed me over the years. I remember your mom making some delicious crepes covered in chocolate syrup after we got done racing. Um, I wish the best for the two of you and um, happy life together. Cheers. Perfect. Uh, so we are rolling whenever you're oh. ready. Brad and Jen, from the deepest place in my heart, I wish you the very best. Brad, I've only known you little bits here and there, but you're the sweetest guy I've ever met, other than my son, of course. Jennifer, you're like my other daughter. I've known you since you were a baby. You and Alana are soul sisters, and uh, it's just the greatest thing in the world uh, to see what's happening for you and Brad right now, and, uh, and, and the, your, your friendship and your love with Alana is uh, inspiring and your dad and I were just talking about it. That there's a bond that is uh, cosmic. So all the best. We love you as you know and uh, we'll be seeing many, many, many more years of your bliss with Brett.